Hello everybody, I wanted to make a video on how the cold is affecting the geodesic dome. It's wrapped in plastic. Is it making any difference? Well, might be. It's not like it's going to make a huge difference anyway. Uh, when you're trying to grow something in this cold, uh, I don't think it's possible up here in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. But let's go see what the effects have, if any. How is it faring in these frigid cold weathers of Wisconsin? Those of you who don't know, we came up from Costa Rica. I was living there for the past 20 years. And it was nice. I had a ranch and waterfalls, and I think the average temperature was probably 78 degrees year round. Why'd we come here? Well, society's kind of falling apart in Costa Rica, and this is the next best place. I was born and raised in uh, the Midwest. Here we are, jumping through the snow instead of sandals on the beach. That's the way life goes, huh? Oh, look at that. Huh? At least there's no snow in here. <laughs> uh, as you can see, uh, I added some supports just for plastic support. That's not structural supports, that's only to hold up the plastic. It's going to start to bend down with all the weight of the snow. I'm anticipating we'll probably get three to six feet of snow. Who knows how much at one time on the top of the dome. Yeah, things are actually green in here. It's pretty incredible. You'd think they'd be completely destroyed, burnt, laying on the ground, but it looks like they're partially alive. These are actually carrots over here. Uh, we have cilantro here. <clears throat> and mind you, this is spinach. Mind you that this is in, this is what, December 9th? December 8th? It was minus four degrees Fahrenheit last night. And it's currently 54% humidity here. It reached a low of 16% humidity in here. It's currently 45 degrees in here. That's a huge difference from 14 degrees outside. That's just a massive difference. Wow. That's uh yeah, that's that's huge. It's almost 30 30 degree difference in here. <laughs> I do have uh, some small passive thermal tanks that are filled with water, a little bit of chlorine. Um, basically the theory and principle is that they'll heat up with the sun and emanate a little bit of heat, extra heat at night, as it basically is dissipating that uh, heated water. I couldn't tell you how much effect it has. I would imagine it has a little, because it depends on the mass to volume ratios, you know, how big is your area, how much volume of water you're actually heating will give you the, the benefits of how much energy or thermal heat you'll be kicking out. So yeah, well, that's pretty exciting actually. My uh, wife came out and actually picked some of the holy basil, which is still growing over here. I don't know how. Um, and we are making some tea right now, so that's kind of cool. So yeah, well, I would consider it a success. Uh, given it's in the middle of December. So anyway, everybody, happy living, happy life. Remember, everything is what we make it. It's all about perspective in this dualistic world. Do we want to see everything from a point of view or pointed perspective of blissfulness, joyfulness, ready to take on life? Or do we want to look at the dark, dreary social media and news platforms? Nah, that's a pretty easy question to answer. Anyways, everybody, enjoy. See you in the next video.